Hey, orange one here. So let's go ahead and see if we can uh, recruit this dude. Um, no. Okay, well, he is going to be just kind of hanging out. Um, and then I can try and get him. Uh, I can keep you safe. Yep. Oh, actually, he joined me. Cool. Awesome. So we have another companion. That's kind of cool. I honestly wasn't really expecting that to work um, that time, so I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's try and get another one. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this one. Yeah, it looks like it's not gonna, not gonna work for us. Wow, really? Oh, oh, what? <laughs> It, it worked. Ethna Purvis. Um, you don't think so? Suit yourself. Okay, let's see if we can convince you to join us. Hey! Um, you can keep me safe? That's pretty high chance of it working, actually. Awesome. That is, that is great. We've got two new cyborgs. Now, if I talk to them... I bet they've got all those nasty cybernetics, like, yeah, the squeaky ankles and all this stuff. Like acid discharge. I don't think I want to take this stuff out here, though. Um, because basically, oh wow, look at his stats. He's got some very high strength. We might have to turn you into a bear man. I don't know. You're a fast learner as well, and deft. This guy's gonna be a really good fighter. He's already got a fair amount of points in uh, piercing and an unarmed, so I might make you unarmed. I don't know. That is That character is really good. I would like to get some armor on them ASAP. What about you, Ethna? Who are you? Uh, you got you got a lot of terrible traits there. <laughs> so Ethna's not very, very great. Um, I think... They're not doing great because the pain or something. But yeah, that strength is, is low by default. They're pretty dexterous, though. That is interesting. Okay, so we got two friends. Um, now the question is, how do we take care of them? I would like to explore the lab more. But I think we gotta get these guys at least uh, some clothes, right? Um, I could actually... Yeah, let's let's get them some clothes and weapons. I was thinking for a second of um, just kind of leaving them there, but I don't think that leaving them anywhere is a good idea. Um, yeah, I just basically want to be clearing anything and everything that gets near them. But yeah, we're we can at least get them some clothes. It's not going to be like a lot of stuff. But it's better than nothing. Because um, they literally, right now, are wearing like pretty much nothing. So can I tell you to use these shoes that I just picked up? Yes, I can. Yeah, we'll get these guys kind of dressed in like the most basic sense. Um, oh, there was... Oh, that's a lot of bullets right there. Huh. Um, any reason that you're running away? Um, I think, like, Ethna, like, ran away, but I'm not sure from what or why. Um, let's have a, just a quick look-see. I think it's been a while since I actually recorded the last one. It's been, like, a few days. Um, yesterday was, like, the first day in a while that I haven't recorded. Because <laughs> I have a problem. Um, yeah. Let's see. I think we want to go up. And I'm pretty sure there was, like, a, a barracks or something. Uh, what was here? That was just a bunch of stuff that I wanted to bring back up. We'll we'll leave that there for now. Um, just because... Wow, there's so much stuff that um, is unexplored. Or is it really unexplored, or is it that our character's forgotten it? I think we have explored it, but our character just kind of forgot what's there. Yeah, that's what it looks like, is that we ran through here, and they forgot what was where okay well i'm gonna have to uh gonna have to maybe 
do some digging to get these guys some armor. I could also just try and get them to the car. That is also a totally valid option for us. Um, though, yeah, let's, let's get a little sports jersey. Uh, yeah, Mason, you're the one that's really more useful. Though, in reality, I know this sounds bad, but I would go and try and keep the woman alive because, like, population dynamics, that's just a better idea. You don't want to have um, no women if you're trying to repopulate after the apocalypse, is all I'm saying. Like, cause that's the limiting factor in growth, right? I know it's and it's very strange to think of like people in that sense, but like if the world really did end, we would have to, you know, we would ha if we were trying to like claim back the world, dude. You guys are gonna be like the funniest looking people when we roll out of here. Um, one of them's got a pea coat on, and the other one's got like just random clothes. Uh, what's that? Electric blanket, um, t-shirt. <sighs> yeah, none of that's really anything that I, I want. Uh, cargo pants might give them, like, moderate protection. Sweater, no. Uh, let's see. Use the cargo pants, and then I'm actually curious if I click on you. And go to sore armor. How's your torso encumbrance? That's not so bad. And your other parts as well aren't so bad either. Cool. All right. Well, you're. I mean, you're pretty much unprotected, so I shouldn't be like, you know, celebrating. But I do have to be careful. But yeah, I think that I'm gonna just try and get you guys the car. And now I'm also forgetting um, where we left our friend Harvey. He's he's just up there. Okay. Cool. Well, maybe let's go to Harvey. Go meet up with Harvey. Um, I kind of want to give one of them sunglasses just because it's cool. Oh, another fit over sunglasses. Not cool. Um, there's that hole in the ground. I do remember that. <laughs> you know what I was thinking was uh, for my next character, I want to do a lab start. I saw Critzy Bear was doing that, and I've been really enjoying watching him play. Uh oh, there's there's some spiders here, guys. Uh, maybe we should back up just a little bit, guys. Um, where is the stairs up? There's one over there. Oh yeah, the, the bedroom one. I remember that. <laughs> the most random stairs ever. Yeah, I also just need to be careful that these guys don't go running out in front of something that could kill them. That is a, something that I'm very concerned about is, you know, they're kind of like my little babies right now. Right? Uh, oh. What do we have here? A giant ant. I think I'm going to just kill you because you're going to attack my friends if I don't. Uh, and then... Uh, will my people not come up here because of the smoke? I bet they don't come up because of the smoke. Uh, that's going to be annoying. Okay, so that is not going to work. Oh no! Mason's in the way! Okay, so they're out of the way. That's good. Um, yeah, I really don't know how we're going to get up there. Um, maybe... Because doesn't this have smoke as well? Or no, that's a that's a downstairs do doy. Come on. Um, where was the other upstairs? There better be another upstairs. I kind of don't know if there is. Um, yeah, I'm also just getting nervous. The more that we walk around with these dudes, the more we could just get like killed. Especially seeing how they have like literally no armor. And we could maybe make a like a gas mask or a filter mask for them. And then they might be willing to uh, fight. I don't know. It's an idea. I might just like leave them in a room with like a sword or something. Because uh, they are going to need to be able to kill these giant ants. 
Because they could just like spawn like straight on top of them, you know? Hello. I'll take you out. Man, these these two people. They're just like, you know, in this like top secret lab, and this dude just like rolls up and right. It's like, come with me. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. It's gonna make us cough. And it's not going to be good for our character's health, but we can just give them our gas mask and then just like bring them up one at a time, right? That would work. Yeah, let's do that. The alternative is that we go up and we try and find the other stairs that go down. I mean, that's the stairs that go up. I want to go there. Any other stairs that go down? I mean, I, I know there are. I just don't know where they are. Take you out. Um, just gonna kill the ants, honestly. Yeah, the, there's like other stairs that are like right up there in that smoke up there. Yeah, so let's let's go down. Oh no, he's in the way. Get out of the way, please. There we go. So if I go down and I take off my gas mask and I talk to Mason and I uh, I give Mason the gas mask. Where is it? Did I drop it or something? Where is it? Like, seriously, what happened? Oh, you unload your... That was not what I meant to do. I meant to unequip. Um, let's activate it. And unequip it. Yeah, take off. I, I pressed U, thinking I'd unequip, right? Um, so, Mason... Uh, I want you to use this. Yep. And, yeah, we're going to suffer a little bit. But look, he's through, right? Um, can I then, if I go to this and I do that? Yep, cool. Um, can I have that back, though? I think it's, is it G? No, uh, that's trade items. That's what it is. Yeah, give me back that survivor's, survivor's mask, please. I'll just wear that for my little excursion down here. Ethna's in the way. Oh wait, Eth Ethna's not. Uh, okay, cool. Can I switch? <laughs> yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, we have our our friends here. Um, let's see. Harvey, why don't you come with us? Yeah. And then I'm actually I'm just kind of curious. Because I had him waiting around here, and I, in the past when I've left the bubble and then came back with similar people, they um, they had like taken care of their needs. So if I go to M, yeah, I know he's still really underfed and very thirsty and in a lot of pain. Yeah, we're gonna have to feed him and and whatnot when we get back up to the top. So we'll do that. Um, I'm sorry, Harvey. Yeah, you're suffering, man. I just have had a really hard time taking care of him. Um, so let's let's get up and out of here. Oh. Didn't realize that was a thing I needed to balance on. But yeah, we got we got a ton of people now. Almost more people than uh than I would like, to be honest. Because we're gonna have to feed them all, right? So we're gonna have to collect food for them, essentially. Um, let's get y'all in the car. Uh, Harvey, yeah, what's, what are you doing? You're, okay, you're coming, good. Okay, so we're all in the car, that's kind of nice. Um, those crickets are kind of loud for me. I think I just had my sound up pretty high. So, what we really need to do is take care of Harvey's needs. Harvey is, is suffering over there. Um, let's get some water, because he'll die of water and lack of sleep. 
Wait, what? 12 or 20? That's very strange. Isn't that? It must be the, um... Like our tanks are frozen or something. Oh, the water purifier. Yeah, it said it didn't have enough charges, but sometimes it, it ends up actually having enough charge. Yeah, we're just gonna... Um, where is that water? Water purifier. You know, if I made it go USP uh, or UPS, USP, what am I saying? If I did that, then it might actually charge automatically, right? Like if I put it in the, the thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Where's that water purifier? Yep, I need that. And actually, it looks like it has a disposable one, right? So that's, uh, let's get another disposable. Might as well. And then, um, we were crafting right here, right? Yep. Looks good to me. Yeah, the piercing whales, I'm not sure if that's zombies, but I'm pretty sure it's, um, the ants. Yeah, let's store it in a jar. And let's get that jar. And then talk to Harvey. Yeah, dude, you need a you need a, I, I don't know how to get the um thing to auto feed them. Uh you know, like the I might even just disable needs because I'm not really sure why they're not. Um Okay, so you've had all the water that you want for now. Okay, that's, um... I'm actually gonna just ha tell you guys to hang out here, I think. Uh, maybe... Maybe I switch positions with you. Um... Tell someone to guard everyone. And then... Tell someone to follow... Harvey, and then if I, I'm going to just move you out of the way there, buddy. I think I can tell you to sleep. But I think you'll actually, yeah, let's say, um, everyone can relax. Yeah, so you're going to go to sleep, which is fine. Because if you look here, um, it says he'll need water in less than five days. And he's dead tired. So I'm pretty sure that that means that he's extremely water. Like he'll be dead in less than five days if he doesn't get enough water. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Um, go back to sleep. It's fine. I think I'm actually processing some stuff right now. So I'm not sure if I can even really learn this. But um, I wanted to maybe... Yeah, let's, let's just do a little reading while he's taking care of his needs. I do want to explore more of the lab, and I will do that. I just kind of want to give him a little bit of time to uh, digest his water and then give him more water. Because he was a thirsty boy. And I might do the same with, like, some food. You know? Like, you can see that this is taking a little bit longer to process for me. Um, yeah. This is like the only game where I can actually really do that. Um, like play it while things are processing. Oh, wait, what, what was that? Okay, that was, I think, well, the ants making a sound like a person or something. Which is terrifying, by the way. Um, let's see, if I talk to Harvey. It says he needs water and food in more than two days. Yeah. He's he's not doing well. I don't know what's going on with him. I just have not been able to feed him enough. I think it's like something to do with his traits that he's got. Um, use this item. Do I have that water jug? Yes, I do. And then I'm just curious if um, if I talk to him. Actually, I, I hit the wrong button. Um, he's no longer underfed. 
It's a, or, or no, he's no longer thirsty, it says right there. Which is weird, because if I look at a capital S, it's need water in less than six days. So actually, he's okay with the water. I think he is not okay with the food, though. And we probably need to cook him some food. Um, let's see. Do we have any cracklins? Ah, uh, no, we do not. Uh, what food could I make for you? I can't really do meat, unfortunately. Um, there actually is probably a ton of dead ants around here. You probably butcher one of those. Yeah, but they're all gonna be rotten, huh? Yeah, let's go for the fresh one. Where are the fresh ones? Uh, giant ant. Sure, we'll go for that one. Oh, that shocker brute? Have they seen me? They have. That's weird. Where did that shocker brute come from? I'll let him come a little bit closer. I'll I'll probably dissect him actually. We'll let you get a nice and close. There we go. An insane cyborg? No, I'm just I'm just seeing things. They're not actually there. Um Oh hello Harvey. You you come out to investigate that sound that, that I was making? How kind of you. Um I'm not sure if he's gonna try butchering this or not. Yeah, it looks like we're okay. Um, dissect, sure. Yeah, as long as he's kind of locked into that seat, I don't think he can dissect this. It's like, it's not directly adjacent to him, you know? God, I'm so sore right now. I've been, like the last three days, I've exercised, like um, with the TRX bands. If you're unaware, it's kind of like um, uh, just like they're not ropes, they're like flat, but they they are not elastic and they just hang from like a ceiling. And you can do so much with them, it's crazy. Sorry about the heartbeat again. You know what I can do? I can do that. I can turn off the audio for the game. <laughs> oh, that kind of worked. Um, I'll, I'll have you come back though because I'm gonna forget about that. Uh, ignore. Why did she move down there? Was she punching something? Ethna, did you punch something? Why? Why are you down here? I'm very confused. Um, in any case, uh, are you? You're still awake. So you you probably could eat, but you probably don't want to eat zombie, right? So, let's see. We don't need a lot of food. We'll do a quick butchery. We'll get some mutant meat. We'll give it to him. It's fine. You don't, you don't want to eat a ton of mutant meat, and I don't know how the toxins really work with these guys. Oh my god, 300 sinew from just a quick butchery. I need to do that with like more of these guys. I seen you were kind of low on. Um, let's look at that meat. Cooked mutant meat. Yeah, this is not something I would recommend doing. Actually, it's very unenjoyable, so I'm not sure if he'll even eat it. Because I think it needs to have like a better than negative five or something enjoyability. Uh, I'm getting a little bit curious about what's going on up here. What are you guys talking about? Are you flirting? These two cyborgs get out of, out of here, saved by some dude who like talks to himself and is followed by a cow person. Yeah, you know, perfect time to flirt, right? Okay, let's see, Harvey... Man, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's that meat is super gross, so he won't eat it. Understandable. It is like poison. Okay, let's see what food can I make that you'll eat. Um, will you do like bread? 
I'm not sure. I need to just stop messing around. Let's just do like a, a pasta. We'll do like a lasagna or something for him. Yeah, let's do a lasagna. I actually don't know if I have all the ingredients for a lasagna, but we can use the pasta for other stuff as we see fit. I just realized that we're like 25 minutes into the episode and I didn't actually go back into the lab. I lied to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we gotta we gotta feed our, our big boy here. Let's turn that on and close that just to make sure that we're good. That lasagna's taken a while to craft. But you know what? We gotta take care of our, our boy here. Harvey's killed so many ants for us. He he deserves it. He really does. What I need is someone to do some sort of bulk eating thing that I can actually understand. Wait, hold on. What 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 just happened here, guys? Um What on earth is hurting you? Is there like something attacking you? I just, I don't understand. I don't see anything that's attacked them. Were they already hurt like that? And I just didn't see it. If so, man, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to heal you guys up. Yeah, I think that they actually are just hurt from um, being, you know, opened up and had surgery done on. Oh my god, you are weak. What have I been doing? I should have, I should have been putting bandages on you, for, like from the get-go. That's like a little bit horrifying, actually. Um, yeah, can I actually have you all come with me? Yeah, just, just come over here. And we're gonna hang out in here. I just had like a little bit of a scary moment. Where I thought I was gonna lose you all. Um, there was that lasagna. Uh, lasagna. Oh, I can't make it. What? What's rotten? We'll use rotten ingredients. I'm not seeing any rotten ingredients. Like, what is it that's rotten here? Um... How do you go down on these menus? Uh, yeah, let's go, let's look here. Um... Oh, it's page up and page down. Oh, dang it, what was I doing? Yeah, lasagna, and then I want to page up or page down. Yeah, that's fresh, that's fresh, that's fresh. Is the cheese spread off? Like, is the meat off? We have dehydrated meat. I just don't understand what's what's rotten here that you're using. Yeah, I'm very confused by that. Well, what can we make with the lasagna? We can make boiled noodles. Well, that was a waste. That was a huge waste of time to get not even get that many calories. Well, I hope you like noodles. Harvey. <laughs> yeah, let me know. What do you guys think? Should I just disable NPC needs or should I have to adapt uh, to maintain that? Because I'm, I'm kind of thinking that I should try and have to adapt, but... If you want to see me doing more fighting and less like management, let me know. Or if you'd rather see me do some more of the base management, I'm also down for that. Now, it won't affect the next few episodes, but, it, you know, it will down the road. Okay, Harvey. Um, just eat these noodles, please. Um, no, it doesn't look like a good idea. Why? Is it because you've got, like, food allergies or something? He's got fast metabolism. That's also part of why he's eating a lot. He's got junk food intolerance. I think that may be what is causing issues. 
I think we just need to go for like a hunt with him and just like cook a ton of meat and have him sleep. I don't know. <laughs> In any case, it, it has been half an hour. Uh, thank you for joining me. We got two new NPCs. Man, I love the cyborg farming. This is crazy.